Hey everyone, today we are on the Indiana Astronomical Society, which is dedicated to the pursuit of astronomy for amateur students, avid sky watchers, or curious hobbyists. And it says that you can join the Indiana Astronomical Society today. And this is the home page. It's got a picture of the observatory and a link to a podcast on SoundCloud with Neil deGrasse Tyson, who's a famous uh, astrophysicist and scientist and all those good things that people really like. And they offer all these things. And they also have information about the 2024 solar eclipse. They have a sky watching tab where you can do sky watching simulations. They also have a forum that you can talk to other sky watchers on and a newsletter. And um, let's look at the, uh, let's look at the, click here to download our eclipse brochure because we are really interested in the 2024 total solar eclipse. And that's the one that we showed you all in a previous video. And it was at the Greenwood, Indiana Library. And if you want to read all this, just um, pause the video, read it, look it all up, because this is a really clear version, um, whereas our video was a scan of this, because we didn't know that it had its own website at the time. And we'll hit back, okay. and we will do the... I believe the events was one, and astronomy. You want to do this one first, or you want to do the event? And, um, yes, astronomy 101 on that newbies. And it tells you, uh, what's it really say? Your intro and expectations, and what's that second dark gray one say, baby? What not to do. And then the third one? Where to start. And they have, um... Brochures about the daily forecast, as you can see, there's a blue line on the right side that shows you a little simulation or past ones of um, how the map was going to look or the sky, I mean, how the sky was going to look. And um, they have information on telescopes at the very bottom. And then, can you read that paragraph, baby? Have you ever wondered how to, how a telescope works? Is it just plain old magic? Nope. There is a real reason that we can see all of those objects to sp in space that are so very far away. If you would like to know more, take a look at host. They messed up. It says host stuff works instead of how stuff works. <laughs> they messed up on the Indiana website. Show them that Indiana educational system. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Host up. <laughs> and uh, that was good. Um, so, yeah, they, it's HowStuffWorks.com. Uh, I've been on it before. Uh, they messed up. After that, we're not going to read the rest of the paragraph because they don't even know how to. They don't even know how to spell how. Sorry, I got distracted by how cloudy the sky is. I'm super nervous. <laughs> Um, and then scroll down a little bit. And then what's that uh, other one say, babe? Underneath society events? Star parties. And so there's like parties where people get together. They bring their telescopes and their cameras. And they look at planets and stars, constellations, comets, um, asteroids, the van... What's it called? The, the belts and stuff like that. Orion's belt uh, for Men in Black. Um... And they go to observatories and outside of lawns and, and uh, warehouses and stuff. And they take pictures. It's a hobby. It's usually a whole bunch of uh, old white dudes. And they're boring. And their wives don't want to be with them. And they don't want to be with their wives. So they take pictures of the stars. And um, they really uh, have a lot of fun, it looks like, in that picture right there. They're all having a great old time eating hot dogs and burgers and bourbon. And, um, yeah, so what's that last one say, baby? Final exam, not really. You have just scratched the surface. Amateur astronomy is a lifelong pursuit, and the only regret that many of us old-timers, and that's what I said, old people, old-timers have is that we didn't start early enough in our lives. For many, amateur astronomy is a family happening. Regardless, the time for you to really get started is now, before you die, like those old people in that picture. Come join us at one of our functions. It will cost you nothing. All of our events are free, so that's good information. If you find us to be... The friendly, interesting, and informative organization that we believe we are, you may even decide to join and become an official member. Meanwhile, feel free to contact us via our contacts page here on the website for additional information. And what's the last one say, babe? Additional resources. 
And they have all these. You just type them into Google, a a a a a observing log and sketch dot PDF, and you can find all this just by typing in the title. It'll link it to the page. We don't have to give you the actual link. Um, if you're interested in astronomy, sun watching, stargazing, star parties, sun parties, things of that sort. And then scroll up, and we're going to do the sky simulator because most of the stuff on this page is also reviewed in the other pages. Um, it should be virtual sky. And she's going to show you, this is for Tuesday, April 2nd, and the time is now. And you can see um, where the plants currently are. So you can plan where you need to go if you want to see the plants. There's Saturn, there's Mars, Venus, Sun. Uh, your, does that say Uranus? I didn't know it was a planet. I think so. <laughs> and Jupiter. But yeah, that's where the plants currently are. And um, where all the star placements are if you have a super good telescope from that page. And it's good to know where the sun's going to be. And that's supposed to be the moon and the, and the sun's path. So it's always nice to have these kind of tools, especially for April 8th. Um, I wish it showed clouds. I'm sure there's a website that does. What are your thoughts on this, babe? Looks pretty cool. Would you use it for the uh, solar eclipse? Yeah. That is awesome. And Astro News is the last one because most of the other tabs repeat stuff. Uh, the very far right one. Uh, most of the other stuff is from um, the pamphlets and the other two or three websites that we looked at, including the NASA website. So we don't want to go over all that stuff. And let's see. Chandra X-ray Observatory, the Kepler Mission News, International Space Station. And what's the middle one say, baby? This one? Yep. Astro Travel Magazines. Yep. So you got a list of magazines. And what's the top one say? General interest. And can you read some of the tiles in blue underneath the general interest? NASA breaking news, solar system news, space.com news, space weather forecast, and star date McDonald's. McDonald's has an observatory. Wow. I wonder if I can look at the telescope and see Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Praise the Lord, baby. Interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is very interesting. And so there's links to everything. Just like we said earlier, type it into Google. It'll bring up all this stuff. Um, and it'll give you a whole bunch of information, and news magazines, astronomy podcasts. And we hope you liked this little overview of the Indiana Astronomical Society news website. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Eclipsed. <laughs>